is the um, GameStop exclusive big box, I guess is what people are calling it. It's the Bakugan Battle Box. It comes with five core Bakugan, a poster, stickers, a pin, and two packs. Um, okay, full disclosure, I know this is like a uh, sort of restock, like basically the factory's made too much. I gotta shove it in a box and uh, send it out and cut it as mystery stuff. All I'm hoping for is, um, right now, I'm hoping for Zentaur, because I really need, I need a Zentaur. I don't have any Zentaurs. I need a, t a core Titanium, um, and I need, what else do I need? Oh boy, I have to check the Baku log. <laughs> I need, yeah, I think that's just, I think that's it. I need a Zentaur, and I need a core Titanium. Out of the out of the cores, um, a diamond would be really nice. I don't. I doubt there's gonna be any diamonds in here, but there's. They could probably pop up in here. I, I have no idea. It's kind of a big gambit. Um, I'm probably gonna get at least one double. Probably gonna be. I mean, <laughs> knowing my luck, it's gonna be these five up here. Or in the, well, not these five, but it, it's gonna be uh, a core Trox, a core Pegatrix, a core Dragonoid, a core Hydras, and a core, uh, it would be a Nilius, because core, uh, how core wasn't a thing back in Battle Planet. So, no, my luck, and it's gonna be all in the native factions, so nothing interesting. <laughs> so let's pop this guy open. He's very, he's very large. He did, he did come with tape, but I really like the finish on the box. It looks really nice with the dark and the white. Um, and I really like the finish, and I really like... This box is huge, by the way. Like, here's my hand. <laughs> here's... I can't even get the whole thing on camera. Let me pull up the camera. Like, it's a big freaking box. Um, you just saw my camera set up, which is very, uh, ghetto, I guess. <laughs> so, nice art artwork of all the, the, uh, you know, the guns. All the, um, all the Battle Planet artworks. Actually, that's so weird. The Trox is kind of rendered in a totally different style than, like, half of the other ones. At least the Drago looks more like art. Alright. Alright. Look, look at the Drago, right? The Drago looks more like art versus a lot of the, like, in the Pegatrix looks more like art, but the, the Trox kind of looks like a render of, like, rather than actual art. And so does the, uh, Howl Core. That's a really weird way to set that up. But, um, so I know this comes with a poster. It was, like, 20 bucks. So, I mean, that's pretty solid value, I have to say. And it looks like a pretty solid box. Ooh, I see something in there. Interesting, interesting. All right, so I'm just gonna pull out... Okay, this is not... Okay. <laughs> Aquas Hydras. I'm not gonna open this on camera just because everyone is everyone and their mother has seen an Aquas Hydras on camera. Uh, and oh my god. Okay, so here's uh, Darkest Nilius. Everyone and their mother has seen a Darkest Nilius on camera. I actually don't own an Aquas Hydras uh, Battle Planet, but I you know it's cool to have anyway. Okay, so I've got. The Darkest Clop Tour, which I'm not also not gonna open on camera. I would normally, but when I do my little, eventually do my uh, Battle Planet overview. Spoiler alert: I have a Diamond Clop Tour. If it was a different faction Clop Tour, then I would open it on camera. But because it's a, I already have a Diamond Clop Tour. Uh, there's no point in opening it. <laughs> okay. On camera, at least I'll, I'll open it. I'll open it in my own time. Centaur. <laughs> I'm really excited. I don't have a Centaur, but what I'm really excited for... Diamond Scorboros. That is so, so sick. Alright, I'm gonna start with Centaur. Oh, the, the value, it's gone! I'm devaluing the product! Alright, let's have a look at his CC. Oh boy, my phone is dying. And uh, that's what I'm recording this with. It's epic. That's like... I feel so bad as the freaking plastic. Why do they wrap these things in plastic? Alright, well, at least it didn't bend. Here's a Zuntar. He looks... Oh, he's pretty not good. <laughs> not very good cores. <laughs> Alright, let's pop out his cores anyway. I might use this box here. Oh, okay, that just kind of came out. 
uh, pop with him himself. Out. I might use this box for some stuff. All right, so for cores, uh, we're gonna kind of speed run this. Uh, Chaos Pyrus, 400B and plus one damage. <laughs> Not very good cores. Look at him. <laughs> he is so, so sick looking. He looks like he could be an ultra, honestly. Like, with this design, he looks like he could be an ultra. He almost looks like he should be the evolved form of, like, Cyndius. Ooh. Oh. Oh, his sword is manual. Alright, well, that's good at least, so I don't have to hold it in. Okay, so we got... Pull his legs in. And pull... Wow. He folds up pretty nicely. Um, of course... Where's that? He looks nice. Alright. Speed running. Speed run. Speed run. Diamond Scorporos. Devaluing the product. Devaluing the product. <laughs> of course I've got to devalue the product. This is this isn't my show if I wasn't devaluing things. I only really devalue things if like they exceed like like if they are over a hundred dollars in value, like at the lowest that I can find them in box. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do these companies do this to me? I need to use a knife real quick. Oh, the poor card. Oh my god, I already got banned. Why? I feel so bad. Looks like I'd like to. Because, like, I like to sleeve my cards. I like to have them in, like, okay condition. If you're gonna put them in plastic, don't put them in, like, awful, gross. Disgusting plastic. All right, diamond score, bro. Okay, yep, yeah, the cards bent. That is really epic. I love that. I absolutely love that. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> diamond score, bro. Looks pretty cool. Um, putting that off to the side. Look at Zentai. I really like the. Uh, he's my third darkest diamond, which is pretty neat. Technically my fourth, but my uh, diamond newest actually got eaten by my dog. Fun fact. <laughs> I left him on the side of a shelf, and he fell, and he got eaten by my dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, diamond... Uh, Scorpio's looks cool as hell. 400 damage. I don't have a CC, because he's a diamond core. Okay, and I gotta pop his cores out. Uh, cores. I think. Yep, yeah, both of them. 150B. Uh, plus 100 for Pyres and Darkest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really cool to have another diamond in my collection. Alright. Oh, screw these guys. Screw this. Um, I... Okay, so... I'm just gonna take a quick look at what else is left, and then I'll do... Because I see there's two car bags in here, and I'm gonna open those separately. Okay, so we have a Bakugan pin, because my phone's dying, as previously stated. Bakugan pin. We have some five stickers. So we've got uh, Feral... Feral in... Okay, these are all in there. Uh, Armored Alliance incarnation. Except for maybe Trox. That look, kind of looks like his... No, it's definitely Armored Alliance. Yep, these are all their Armored Alliance. Poor Hellcore always gets shafted for nearly us. But all the factions. Which is neat. Neat to have. Neat to see. And I also got my... Um, Bakugan pin there, like I said earlier. So we've got two Resurgence packs. That'll open in a separate video. Probably called... Probably gonna be this video part two, where I talk about, um, take a more in depth look at the pin, take a more in depth look at the, uh, and just open up the other Akugan too, just for the sake of it. Yo, this poster's huge. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, it's giant. Oh god, Lois! Oh god, Lois! Lois Lane! Freaking tape, bro.